Another example of automobile madness. You will pay for something, but you can only access that feature if you pay a monthly subscription. We had BMW introducing new heated seat subscriptions in the UK. This is from the BBC July 2022. You have to pay an online subscription to turn on the heated seats that are already in your car at 15 pounds a month. And to heat your steering wheel, you need to pay 10 pounds a month. Then we had Mercedes in the US introducing an acceleration subscription fee. This is from the BBC again, November 2022. You would have to pay $1,200 a year to allow Mercedes-Benz to enable some features to allow the car to accelerate a second faster. We now have a VW introducing monthly subscriptions to increase car power. You get an optional power upgrade, which costs £16.50 per month or £165 a year. Or you can pay £650 for a lifetime subscription, whatever a lifetime subscription is, because often these lifetime subscriptions aren't really for your lifetime. They say they are offering you choice and say this is nothing new. Historically, many petrol and diesel vehicles have been offered with engines of the same size, but with the possibility of choosing one with more potency, they said. You can have a sportier upgrade by paying this subscription rather than committing from the outset with a higher initial purchase price. Okay, so I just think this is ridiculous, but what do you think? You pay for this car. It has all the features like heated seats. It has the power to, to accelerate quicker as an example. But now you have to pay a subscription if you wanna unlock the full power of the engine inside the car. So it already has that power, but it's only enabled remotely, I assume, by the manufacturer if you pay the subscription. Okay, so we told here lifetime subscription would be for the car rather than the individual, meaning the upgrade would remain on the car if it is sold on lifetime. I like that lifetime. This was first reported by Auto Express. So now you have to have another subscription in your life. Where's this going? Subscription for Amazon, for Netflix, for Spotify, but you got to do age verification. <laughs> Maybe they'll require all kinds of personal details before you can unlock power in your car or something in the future. This just seems to be another example of you will own nothing, pay for it, but be happy. Now, I just wanna point this out from a cybersecurity point of view. Hackers have been able to remotely stop and start your car because they hacked the central portal. Just think about this. Centralized control of cars means you're losing control of your car. Can you imagine you're busy driving along, you didn't pay your subscription, now suddenly the car stops working. Is that the world that we're going to? It's madness, I think, where the world is going with this type of thing. You will own nothing, pay for it, and be happy.